All right, from press conference to jazz. And where are we? Well, I'm sure you all recognize my good friend Nick and general manager right here at Hotel Muse. How you doing, my friend? I'm good, Daniel. Good to meet you again. Good to see you. Well, thanks for having us tonight. I'm psyched and I'm excited about the, tonight's venue. I think you should tell all our viewers what's going to happen tonight. Listen, I think uh, we knew that Mylene Martinson was a big fan of Hotel Muse. She stayed with us before. Now I think Hotel Muse is a big fan of Mylene because uh, we're so privileged and so happy that it's the only concert in Bangkok sort of uh, during a trip to Thailand this time. Wow. And it's here at Hotel Muse at Medici Kitchen and Bar, but like late night venue. So it's fantastic. Great atmosphere, great people, great room. Can't wait for the show to start. All right. And uh, uh, nor can I, in fact. So what, we, what me and Nick are going to do, we're going to go and sit down we're going to have a bite to eat at this wonderful restaurant called uh, Medici Kitchen and Bar just downstairs at the Hotel Muse. But I, I guess you all know about it already. Francesco is going to prepare the wonderful meal. And right after that, mm, it's going to be jazz. It's going to be Marlene Mountains and, and much, much more. So you don't want to miss that out. So take, uh, stand up, go for a walk, just a couple of seconds, come back, because all that will be back with Daniel and my second home. Don't go away. Yes, we are back and with the magic of television, we are upstairs in one of the coolest suites here at the Hotel Muse on Soy Lang Suan. And yes, we, I am in the company of a beautiful, very, very good jazz singer, Malene Mortensen. How are you? I'm so good, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm feeling very, very good and I'm excited about the whole idea of jazz and a little bit of Scandinavian jazz. We were talking a little bit off camera about... Uh, I lived in, in Scandinavia for a few years, and I know how important jazz is. Uh, now, this you were saying that is, this is not your first trip to Thailand. No, it's not. There's been so many trips, I can't count. I think it's around 10, 15 times. Right, so I guess you are uh, a big fan of the kingdom, uh, kingdom of Thailand as well. I love the people and the food and the massages. I love it. <laughs> so there we go. There we go. Um, let's talk a little bit for all of viewers here in Thailand. Uh, there is a huge jazz movement in Scandinavia and Denmark and Sweden. And uh, tell us a little bit about about it. Well, I'm from Copenhagen, and I know that back in the days there was a lot of of the American artists coming to Copenhagen. There was some vibe about that city, but also in Sweden and Norway we have a lot of music venues that makes it interesting for people to play and audience to come all right so yeah there's a, a lot of festivals when it comes to jazz and you probably you want to go and check out that out online it's uh for all you guys that do like jazz and you're gonna see her singing a little bit and it's gonna be great uh let's talk about uh your career now uh, i know you were you were saying that you were going to london next what's what's going on well, I've been playing there a few times now, mm -hmm. since 2006. I had my first gig at Pizza Express in Soho. Wow. It's a really cool club. Upstairs you have all the pizza, and downstairs you have a really nice club, like a New York kind of vibe. Right. It's really nice. So right. I, I have my band 
bringing them to next Sunday. All right. So if you, if I had to ask you, like, for two or three good names in jazz that you look up to, like, in you know, back in the days or even for from today, uh, being jazz musicians, who would you pick and choose, women or men? Singers or musicians? Singers. Let's go for singers. Well, I've listened a lot to Sarah Vaughan, Nancy Wilson for the jazz. People are people. Uh, and Ella Fitzgerald. And then I've listened a lot to pop singers as well. That's I love them too. Beyonce, Mariah Carey, Christina Aguilera. So I have like, I love a lot of different kinds of music. All that into one. Yeah, you're probably feeling the exactly the same thing that I'm feeling right now. What's next? We want to see her sing. We want to see you sing. So, so stay tuned. Don't change that channel. I'm Daniel. You're watching My Second Home. We'll be right back. <laughs> Mining a few months ago, actually three months ago, back in um, late November, um, she loved Hotel News, and of course we were delighted that she was staying with us. And at the end of her stay, I said, "Hey, I said you know, we could do something uh, quite small, quite boutique, just like Hotel News. We could be downstairs at Medici, and you could maybe do something for us." And she accepted um, very quickly. So I'm extremely delighted that. We're now here tonight, and after saying a few words, it just uh, became a reality. Um, this is a only concert in Bangkok this time. Um, she did something in uh, Chiang Mai at the time, but for Bangkok, we are the only venue, and we're extremely privileged, of course, that she's accepted to, uh, to be here. So I wish you a lovely evening. Ladies and gentlemen, let me please introduce you to you tonight. Mylene Mortensen. Thank you very much, Mylene. Wow, guys, I hope you enjoyed that just as much as I am. I've enjoyed and I am enjoying it. We are on the first break of the concert. So I want to take the time because I have here next to me Kumvi Shard from Hitman Jazz. How are you, sir? Yes, very good. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about, we've been talking a little bit off camera about me, of course, being a great jazz fan. And... Uh, You've been one of the great promoters here in Thailand for jazz, and you want to tell a little bit, uh, all our viewers in Thailand, what you do and what you have coming up in the future. Yeah, actually, um, Hitman Jazz, uh, we're bringing a lot of uh, international artists all around the world right. coming to Thailand, and I release a lot of uh, artists' albums, which I have believed that uh, Thailand needs a lot of good music. 
Right. Right. And it's very difficult for Thai people to, to know uh, the artists around the world. So they try to introduce a lot of artists to Thailand, like Marlene, you know, and Cars, and uh, a lot of Scandinavian artists, European artists, the US artists, and also the Asian artists. And I think uh, for the next project, we also have a lot of good international artists coming for the album released in Thailand and also the shows like the latest we signed for the top Japanese uh, producer. Uh, his name is Jun Abe okay. and, and his album released in Sony Japan but released in Thailand with Hitman Jazz. Wow, so there you go. <laughs> All right, congratulations and, that and one. This is so strange, you know, because Thai, they also have Sony in Thailand but they choose to release with Hitman Jazz. Well, it sounds to me that it, they, they've chosen quality rather Absol than quantity. Absolutely, yeah. And and I'm sure that we, we have a lot of lineup coming in Thailand and we present a lot of good music to Thailand. And Junabe and his sideman is a guy from T-Square, Cassiopeia, a lot of the well-known fusion jazz in Japan. And we have a project to collaborate with Marlene Mortensen here. And it's going to be like, uh, you can see the Thai artists they are really capable. So it's time for Thai artists also to go around the world with the international artists. You know, this is about the networking, about the show, about the friendships, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty much exactly what that is all about. Uh, if you want more information about uh, 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 Hitman Jazz, you can contact this uh, website and you got their numbers and uh, I'm pretty sure you can get all the answers possible. However, in the futures, if you want to see more jazz with uh, venues just like these, please email us, whether it is on our website or by Facebook, and we're going we're gonna to hook you up. So what we're going to do is, uh, the guys are taking a break here. Uh, we're going to enjoy a drink, and when we come back, much more jazz. So don't go away. Don't change that channel. I'm Daniel, and you're watching my second home. Don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. Grand Caribbean Condo Resort Padilla is a uniquely themed living experience set amidst lush tropical gardens and features wave pools, interactive ships, artificial beaches, and children's play areas. Fully furnished one and two bedroom units are available starting from as little as 1.59 million baht with attractive payment plans, making this the ultimate resort living experience for families and couples where every day in your new home will feel like a holiday. Grand Caribbean Condo Resort Padilla, where holidays become home. everyone that I'm afraid that's all the time we had for tonight I gotta say thank you so much for coming to Thailand and for performing here tonight um, I want to ask you though for all the people watching in Thailand if they do want to buy your record can they actually buy the record they can uh, buy the album here in Thailand the one that we're promoting now which is called which is called still in love with you and uh, then I have made my sixth album back home. It's called You Go To My Head. You can buy it online. You can find all my other albums as well. All right. So you guys be sure to go and check uh, all these albums are because, I mean, uh, the music, our music really, really touches your heart. 
we are going to move away because they're just going to continue jamming and singing. Thanks so much Thank again. You. It was nice meeting you. And, and you. Uh, we're going to go for a break, but much more of my second home with Daniel when we return. Don't go away. Don't go away. Thank you so much.